there. So today we're gonna take the fat boy and ourselves out to Granville, Massachusetts to an awesome country store they have out there. Great food, great people, some cool scenery. So why don't you come along? country store great little spot people stop out here in their motorcycles in the spring and summertime great food great people beautiful little uh place to hang out in that little right around that notch in massachusetts imagine how much gas was per gallon when these were first put in i can't even imagine 38 cents 47 i don't know not too bad these days though busy day here at the granville country store people everywhere for this fine food and beautiful location I don't know why I talk like this. Eventually I will stop. Ah, mmm, fat boy likey. Yum, yum. Beautiful spot to sit down, chill and relax at this Granville country store. Very nice, very nice. A little couple over there enjoying their life. I guess we are at the Granville Citizens Park, officially. Uh, interesting little history about this place here that a lot of people come out and on their motorcycles and stuff and hang out and go to the store over there and enjoy some food as we're waiting for ours to be prepared. Hey, look at that bike. So uh, yeah, that's where we are, Granville Citizens Park. Granville Country Store kicking out the turkey club, feeding the fat boy here. Looks good, can't wait to dive in. So years ago, we drove out by the spot, Lenny and I, and uh, going to this ice cream shop, we're gonna stop at in a second, and she just had the most eloquent, like just beautiful, poetic, kind of expose on this place and how amazing it was and how she wanted to, uh, to stop here and just take pictures and you know maybe get married here and all this kind of stuff. And it's just this really cool spot on the side of the road. And uh, I mean, seriously, it was, it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard anybody say. Can you recount this for us, Lenny, what you said? Sounds about right. I think that means you can't drive a motorcycle down here. It's dangerous. You can't do that. Okay. Come on now. Is this cool or what? Looks like something out of Back to the Future 3 here. Save the clock tower. Save the clock tower. There's a little pond over there. Let's go scope out so you can find any turtles. I like turtles. And that bike too. I think it's mine. I think it's a fat boy like me. Hey look, another bike. So we 
are at Moolicious Ice Cream here in Southwick, Massachusetts. This is their little travel wagon they take to uh, fairs and shows. And let me tell you, they make some great ice cream. Uh, they got a lot of fine folks here. And, uh, you know, Davey the Fat Boy here does enjoy his ice cream. While this is not my favorite ice cream place in the entire world, it does happen to have my favorite ice cream flavor I've ever had in my life. The rest of them are great, but the number one flavor I've ever had in my life, any hard ice cream ever, is... Oh my word, blueberry buckle. You know, Lenny sure does make a house a home. Look at this. Look at these flowers. Look at this layout. Look at the design. Look at the attention to detail and craftsmanship. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's a little piggy with flowers in his back. Some bikes going by here, as they often do in this area. Ride safe. Mailbox is still broken. What kind of an asshole has a picture of himself in his own garage? Hey folks, that's it for this week. We went to uh, Malicious and we went to the uh, Granville Country Store. We had some good food, some good ice cream, some great weather. Uh, and you know, we're going to do a lot more content here. Right now, I'd give the content uh, of this, this video channel about a 1.5 out of 75. <laughs> Um, pretty low rating, you know, we're starting off, but I'm going to, it's going to get better. People are going to get more comfortable going out and about and talking. You will have some man on the street interviews and we'll talk to some owners of these businesses and we'll get a little more involved here. But right now people are still a little nervous and that's understandable. You know, there's still a virus out there. There's things going on and, uh, you know, there's protests and all kinds of things. So, you know, please be safe, stand up for what you believe in, be a good person, uh, treat everybody fairly and equally. I mean, I, you know, that's what you got to do. You should be doing it anyway. You should be doing it your whole life. If not, figure it out, shithead. Um, so anyways, thanks for checking out the channel. Come back soon and uh, we'll see you again down the road.